What is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be revealing 12 of my favorite AI tools for this month of October in 2024. These are my favorite tools on specific categories such as writing, research, AI image generation, and so forth. Number one is going to be for writing, it's going to be Claude. Claude is my favorite tool for writing articles, writing blog posts, generating ideas, and just doing anything that really needs critical thinking. Claude 3.5 Sonnet is really, really good. Um, you can generate text, you can generate graphs, you can generate code. You can do a lot with this tool. So I highly recommend using um, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. This is my favorite, favorite tool. Um, I get a lot of value from it and it's a really, really awesome tool and you can do a bunch of different things with it. And I use it on a daily basis. So Claude is definitely going to be my favorite writing tool and overall AI tool as of now. My second favorite tool is going to be ChatGPT. We all are familiar with ChatGPT. I really like it because you can do a lot of different things. You can generate code, you can generate text. There's a lot of new models that are out. You can generate images, you can use GPTs. Um, and there's also the, the ChatGPT store as well. So a lot of different things in which you can use on ChatGPT, which makes it a really versatile tool uh, and it has a lot of different use cases. Third is going to be SEO writing. Again, if you are in the AI writing and blog space, SEO writing is going to be really good because if your brand new to AI content generation, they have pre-built templates such as product blog posts, product roundups, how-to guides, and so forth. And you can click on those templates and simply enter some inputs such as your main keyword and your title, enter a little bit of your settings here, and you can generate a article. So it's much easier for you to use something like SEO writing.ai, especially if you're new, because again, it's pre-built, it's pre-prompted. All you have to do is enter your inputs and you will be able to get your article. And my fourth favorite writing tool is Agility Writer. Agility Writer is similar to SEO writing, which has pre-built templates and so forth. So again, if you are new or if you wanna just kind of expedite the time it takes you to gener generate content, then this is going to be a good tool for you. So again, it's an easy way for you to write content. All you have to do is enter your inputs and then you'll be able to generate art. All you have to do is enter your inputs and you'll be able to generate articles. Um, blog posts that are SEO optimized that are in-depth and ready to rank. But again, I would recommend using Claude or ChatGPT if you are a little bit more seasoned because you can prompt it a little bit better. You can add more information from your business. Um, you can guide the AI a little bit better because there's no guardrails or pre-prompted or pre-built templates like SEO writing and agility writing. For research, my two favorite tools are Notebook LM and Perplexity AI. Perplexity AI is a AI-powered Google search essentially. You can ask it anything such as vegetables currently in season. It will tell you the vegetables that are in season. Then you can ask it additional questions. So essentially it's like Google, but instead of going through actual websites, it summarizes all of the information for you to get only the most relevant and the most important information for your search query. So it's a really quick way for you to do research. You can do research for um, new topics. You can do, you can do research for uh, old topics. You, you can do research for trending news. Anything that you essentially can Google, you'd be able to use Perplexity AI to do so. So it's a very, very helpful tool for doing research. A newer tool to the market is Notebook LM. Now Notebook LM is different because it allows you to upload sources. For example, I uploaded three sources around sleep and social media. I can see those sources. And once I do so, I can then ask prompts based upon that information. So if you have a lot of information which you need to distill or do research on, you can upload that information onto Notebook LM and it will be able to then, and then all you have to do is um, ask it any questions in which you have. If you need to generate an article, if you need to generate a um, an essay based upon that information, you'd be able to do so. So it's really, really useful. Um, as you can see here, then you can ask it more additional questions. So if you're working with like 10, 20,000, 30,000 words, this is gonna be really awesome because you don't have to read through all of that content. You can do your research right into Notebook LM. And this is a fairly new tool from Google. So if you wanna check it out, I highly recommend you check it out uh, for yourselves. Image generation, these are going to be the text to image tools that I like. I like Midjourney. Uh, Midjourney is good. Only drawback to Midjourney is that you have to use it on Discord. So that can be a little bit challenging if you're new, but once you get it, it's pretty easy. Stable Diffusion is another really cool tool. These are what, what these are the engines that most other tools use. Uh, that would be like SEO Writing, Agility Writer. They use these engines, either Midjourney or Stable Diffusion to generate their images. But if you want to go directly to the source, you can use these websites. ChatGPT also has a really good, 
I would say, um, image generation tool called Dolly 3. So Dolly 3, again, allows you to generate images because you could simply just tell the model, create an image for X, Y, and Z, and it will be able to do so. So it makes it a lot easier for you to uh, generate images using um, ChatGPT. But again, MidJourney, Stable Diffusion, and ChatGPT are my favorite. For keyword research, um, I like Ahrefs. It's not necessarily an AI-powered tool, but it's the best tool to do keyword research and competitive research. When it comes to content optimization, I really like NuanWriter. So NuanWriter is a tool which allows you to optimize your content for the first page of Google. It's kind of like Surfer SEO or Phrase. Um, I really liked it because it had a lifetime deal. Currently, I do not think the lifetime deal is available, but if it is, check the link below today's video. But essentially, all you have to do is enter a search query, and then you will be able to get recommendations that you need to follow in order to rank that content on the first page of Google. So it will give you recommendations that you need to follow, and it's a really, really good tool to use. If you'd like to optimize and rank your blog post or your content, number one on Google. For AI Checker, we have originality.ai. This is the original a tool which allows you to check your content to see if it's AI written. So if you are worried about your AI detection scores, then you can use a tool like originality.ai. You just enter your information and it will tell you the percentage of AI that's in that tool. For honorable mentions, we have uh, Meta AI. Meta AI, apart from its actual chat box, it has some pretty cool and unique experimental AI tools. So they have the segment anything, which allows you to create virtual cutouts or video cutouts and other fun visual effects with a few clicks. So essentially you can um, edit a sort of a screen in a video. Then you have seamless translation, which allows you to hear what you sound like in another language. So you can upload a clip of yourself and you'll be able to hear what you would sound like in Spanish or French, which is pretty fun. You can also um, bring hand drawn sketches to life with animations. You can create an audio story with AI generated voices and sounds using audio box. So a lot of really cool experimental features here. Some of them have business cases. Some of them I think would just be fun to use, but it's always nice to see what's on the horizon when it comes to AI. Then we have Gemini AI. Gemini is also doing a lot of improvements and advancements. I would say that they are actively becoming really good. They've added some new features like the Gem Manager. Um, they have a advanced Gemini mode as well. The Gem Manager is kind of like GPTs, which are pre-made by Google. So allows you to get your specific output or your specific objective when using uh, Gemini. So I would definitely use or keep an eye out for Gemini because I know they will continue to get better because they are of course backed by one of the biggest companies in the world which is Google. And then we have Grok, which is the AI tool from Elon Musk. It's available on Twitter. Um, it's pretty interesting to use. I don't think it's much different compared or it has anything that's really unique um, as of yet, but again, definitely keep an eye out for that. And the last sort of tool or feature is a text to audio feature that's included in Notebook LM. I did mention this earlier, but you can actually turn your text once you upload your sources onto Notebook into a engaging podcast. So it's a really, really cool, cool feature, um, which allows you to turn your information into a podcast. And this is something that I haven't seen anywhere else. Um, the text to audio is really, really awesome because it sounds very human-like. It sounds like there's two people talking and you can definitely use that information uh, to create a podcast, an AI-powered podcast, simply by using this tool. So I would definitely check out that feature. Um, if you haven't used it before, Notebook LM, um, just upload your content and you can turn that into a podcast. If you want to see exactly how to do that, check out my videos that I've already done using Notebook on this channel. So those are some of my favorite tools. Let me know in the comments below which ones you like the best, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.